Okay, this is the first of three demonstration videos in which I demonstrate to you the Monkey Hunter demonstration. The Monkey Hunter demonstration is a classic demonstration that all introductory physics students see. The demonstration itself is designed to illustrate the acceleration of a projectile. Let me explain to you here in this video how the demonstration works. Okay, first of all, the projectile. The projectile is going to be this steel BB, and I'm actually going to launch the projectile by means of a blowgun. That's this right here. Let me actually right now go ahead and load the gun like so. Okay, and then we have the target. The target is the monkey. That's this block of wood right here. And then at the top of this block of wood, what I've nailed into it is a strip of metal. That strip of metal is necessary for the following reason. Okay, take a look over here. I know it's a little bit hard to see, but up on the ceiling right there, there is a screw that is screwed into the ceiling tile, and there's a bunch of wire that is wrapped around it. And then that wire comes down here from the ceiling, across the floor, and it's then actually connected to the gun. So when I turn the gun on in just a few moments by plugging it into one of the electrical sockets, this then means that a circuit will be completed. When that circuit is completed, that screw that is up there on the ceiling tile, that then becomes an electromagnet, and it then therefore attracts the metal strip that is here at the top of the monkey, at the top of the block of wood. Okay, now let me actually go ahead and complete the circuit, turn the gun on, and place the target up here onto the ceiling. All right, so to do so, I have to turn this on, like so. Okay, and then there's this dangling wire right here. If I take this dangling wire and I connect it to a notch that is right here at the top of the barrel of the gun like so, this then means that the circuit has now been completed, and this then means that the electromagnet up there on the ceiling is now on. So let me once again check to make sure that this is connected properly. Come on. A little finicky here. There we go, like so. And now the circuit is completed and the electromagnet is on. So let me go ahead now and take the monkey and put it up on the ceiling by means of this ladder. I'm filming this video, by the way, two weeks after knee surgery, so I gotta be a little bit careful here. Okay, so place him up here. There we go, like so. Okay, now, here's the key to the demonstration. When I fire the gun, the moment that the BB emerges from the barrel of the gun, it then trips this wire. When it trips this wire, this then means that the electromagnet is off, and then therefore the monkey begins to fall. So watch what happens when I just do this by hand. I'm just gonna disconnect the wire here. Watch what happens to the monkey up on the ceiling when I do. Like so. Let me turn this off. So as you saw, the monkey falls. So the monkey then falls the instant that the BB emerges from the barrel of the gun and then therefore becomes a projectile. And then the question is the following. How do I aim the gun to ensure that I hit the target? I basically have three choices. My first choice is I can aim below the target when it's up on the ceiling and then therefore lead the monkey a little bit. Or instead, I can aim slightly above the monkey when he's up there on the ceiling initially. I aim behind the monkey if I do. And then the third choice is to aim directly at the monkey when he's up there on the ceiling. So then therefore, what do I choose to do? Do I lead the monkey? Do I aim behind the monkey? or do I aim directly at the monkey? The answer is that I aim directly at the monkey. Now in the second video of this demonstration, I perform the demonstration for you in real time. If you look carefully, you'll see the projectile hit the target. And then I also perform the demonstration again, but in this case, I just show you what happens when the projectile hits the target in slow motion. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here, take a look now at part two, and then the slow motion video as well.